What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went 30 minutes long, yeah, just going up to Violet City and then just protecting the whole thing, just like making sure that we this place is safe before we go in and destroy it. Caught ourselves two new Pokemon, Toxic Batman and Fluff Bolt. Or, yeah, that's what his name Yeah, that's a pretty cool nickname right there, Fluff Bolt. And I did level him up to level 10. I was kind of hoping that, you know, Toxic Batman would learn Wing Attack early on, like right around level 10, but I guess it's not that strong right now. So I'm going to keep it right in front of my team right here. That way, when it evolves into a Golbat, it eventually can evolve into a, what you might call it. It can evolve into a Crobat right afterwards. So our next mission right here is that we're going to be going into the Sprout Tower. And if you go right here, it's looking very decorative. And let's see, did you know that the Poke allows you to put marks and memos on its map? I'd love to have one of those Poke Gears, but my mom won't let me. Oh, well, maybe when you're 10. I think you're like 9 or something. I don't even know. Just one more year. So, uh, formidable tree. Yeah, we can headbutt this tree. Now, here is the Sprout Tower. Actually, let me read that correctly. Let's see. Hold on. Sprout Tower. Experience the way of the Pokemon and cast aside your doubts. Okay. Alrighty. So, here it is, guys. The Sprout Tower. Let's look at all majestic and everything. And, you know... Just like it says, it's you know it has a bunch of trainers with bell sprouts and everything. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Look at that! It's like shaking left and right, left and right. Okay, alrighty. So talk to this guy. Only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. That is true. Now, last episode we got ourselves the HMO six, which is a rock smash. So that's a pretty good move right there. Now I'm gonna be switching out Pokemon right here because we got Cinder for the job. I don't think we're gonna be having an issue right now so let's go ahead and start battling some cue balls right here what is this guy how hard do we battle the tower will stand strong okay let's do this so here we go sage nico wants to battle and he will be coming with his bell sprout and luckily for us we got cinder ready to kick some ass with some amber attacks and he's going to be coming out with another bell sprout so let's continue on right here bam ember attack for the win Look at that. We might even see a Cinder evolve in this wall in like in this episode. Maybe. I'm just like predicting it right now. And look at that. 54 experience points all the way. Alrighty. Okay, so let's move on right here. Who's next? And well, let's see, we're gonna be grabbing a few items. One can be a par a paralysis heal, which is good because some of these bell sprouts can learn any kind of like stun sport and all that stuff. And I don't think I've round the levels that these guys are at. Yeah, they don't have it right now. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to the show respect for all Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. Sage Chow wants to chow down and here we go. Ember attack. That's effective. Very effective. And here we go. Level 13 and it's learning quick attack. So let's go right ahead and just take away tackle attack because it's not really that effective anymore. And, well, he's coming out with another spell sprout. Let's go right ahead and give Toxic Batman a little love. Because eventually, we kind of want it, want it to evolve and stuff. So, it's going to be a barrage of leech lives and astonishes and all that crud. And, Bell Sprout's not a pure grouse type Pokemon. It's uh, actually grass and poison. So, look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, let's continue on right here with Toxic Batman. And, bam. You guys may have remembered in Crystal version, it was a lot of leech lives and astonish and it was not that strong not that strong at all so it was like wow anywho that is that so I guess both my Pokemon are doing pretty well right there actually you know what let's go right ahead and start it off with toxic Batman right here we still need a little more love for this Pokemon so here we go we got ourselves the X accuracy which is another good move right there for us and well this guy right here is gonna come up to us I sway like leaves in the wind. He does. Really, he does. Okay, so here we go. Sage Edmund wants the battle, coming with his bell, bell sprout. And, well, let's continue on right here with the Astonish's attacks. And they will flinch. And look at that. And, well, we're going to continue on right here. I think it's just going to be a sweep of uh, Toxic Batmans and all that stuff. And there's a Vine Whip. Not so effective. Here we go. Astonish kicks your butt. And, well, let's beat one for the road right here. So let's go, Leech Life. 
Yes. Critical hit. And this talks to Batman's actually... Yeah, he's working pretty well. Look at that. Look at that. And nearly grows to level 11. Now, look at that. It's a nice uh, bell sprout statue and all that crud. And here is the final floor of the Sprout Tower. Now, if you go right here, you can actually grab a potion, which is a very, very good item as well. So, yeah. We're going to get attacked by Pokemon as well. At nighttime, you can actually find yourself Ghastly's right here, too. I was actually thinking of using Ghastly on my team, but I was like, ah, you know what? Maybe next time. Okay, so, let's see. We're going to be going with uh, Cinder right here. Cinder. All right, what's up? I train to find alignment in Pokemon. Do you? Do you really? Let's go. Sage Jin coming out. Level 6 Bellsprout, so let's go with another Ember attack right there. Look at that. Super effective. And uh, Jin. Jin, Jin, Jin. Okay, you got defeated pretty quickly right there, so let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. What do you have to say? The Elder's TM lights even pitch black darkness. Now it aren't gold, soul, silver. It is a TM. It used to be an HM. You guys know what Pokemon or what what item we're talking about right here. And well, let's continue on right here with the Ember Palooza, 1999. Look at that. Okay, so now to throw a curveball at you, some of these uh, Sage right here, Sages have a hoot hoot on their team. So I'm gonna try and get Fluffle some love right here too. Let's talk to this guy, and he's like. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust them a lot. I trust them immensely. So you better back off, homeboy. You better back off. So here we go. Sage Troy wants the battle. And I chose the incorrect Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and go talk to Batman. You know. And there's that growth attack, which will increase its special attack. And well, we're going to make it flinch. And there's a Vine Whip, which doesn't really work on us. And this right here is a battle to the very end, so let's go with Leech Life to get some HP. And there you go, Bellsprout has been defeated, Bloodbolt and Toxic Batman get some good experience points. And he's going to be coming out with a hoo hoo. Finally, Bloodbolt, we can use you. I did train Bloodbolt all the way up to level 10 so he can learn Thundershock right here, and look at that. Super effective. Eat it. Alrighty, okay, so we're doing some pretty good stuff right here. Very good stuff. Okay. It is not far to the Elder. It really isn't. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm assuming... You know what? Let's just stick with Fluffle right now, because I have a feeling he's going to start off with a curveball right here. But as you can see, our rival is battling this guy right here. Oh, he kicked his butt. You showed us what you got, and indeed, it's good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Oh, damn. Silver's like, <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how to show, or how you, uh, lecture how you should uh, be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon, and that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. And he used an escape rope. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's good. That's good. Uh, before we go battle that guy, let's go right ahead and grab that item because... Or, or, or get attacked by a Pokemon. Whatever. You know, it's okay. Okay, so let's uh, get this out. And grab this. And yes, we got ourselves an escape rope. Pretty damn good, right? And, well, let's go ahead and battle this Elder right here. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training people and Pokemon test their bonds to build the bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Let's go. Right here on Dragon Ball Z. Oh wow, he actually looks like an elder. Oh, and I chose the incorrect Pokemon. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. So here we go, let's go switch out to Cinder right here. And there's a growth, but here we go with an Ember attack. Super easy right there. And, well, he's going to be coming out with the hoot hoot, so let's get the hoot hoot out of this guy right here with Fluff Bolt. Alright, Fluff Bolt, let's do this. Thunderbolt, or Thundershock, I should say. My bad. <laughs> here we go, Thundershock, eat that. And, look at that, Fluff Bolt, one, two, three experience points. 
And we're gonna be going back to Cinder. Alrighty, okay. Look at you. Eat this Ember Attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. And look at that, we get to level 14. I think you guys already know what happens right there, right? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's finally evolving. Bam! So as you can see, guys, our first evolution in this game happens to be our starter Pokemon, Cinder. It's a Quillava. It's pretty good stuff right there. Good stuff. Hmm, the way you battled is quite elegant. You should be able to stand into Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. We get ourselves the TM70, which is a Flash. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can uh, illuminate caves no matter how dark they can they may be. You can try on Bellsprout, for example. That is true. And we're getting a call from Wade. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Hold on. Draven, howdy. It's Wade. How are you? I found all kinds of berries. If you want, I'll share some with you. I'll be waiting at Route 31. Okay, well, way to waste my time right there. Okay, so let's get to using the escape rope. Let's see, where are you? Let's see, oh yeah, right here. And let's go right ahead and use that escape rope. Yeah, buddy. Okay, we're spinning, we're doing this. Yeah, buddy. Violet City, how you doing, baby? Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we will be going in to take on Faulkner, the gym leader, right here. And, well, hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we, we do better in that gym than we did in previous iterations and all that stuff. Uh, before we leave, let's go right ahead and take a look at Cinder right here. Now at level 14, still a calm nature. Eh, quick tempered and all that crud, but its stats increased dramatically. It is still a speedy Pokemon. Its special tech is right there. Eh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be very, we're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. And you guys. Thank you once again for watching this episode. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Please like, subscribe, and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys later. See you guys.